Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, making some really good trades and yep, let's just get into it right now. We got a lot to talk about because Bitcoin is starting to dump at the moment and we can see that Bitcoin is, you know, retesting this previous low at 37,000 and we did close underneath it. Now we are, you know, starting to pump towards the upside with a little bit of a green candle at the moment trying to break back into this pattern uh, we are in a couple trades at the moment and a big congratulations to all the gold members in the discord making another 11 percent today i haven't added it to the google sheet but our balance is, is increasing and i'll update it after this video uh, we are in a couple trades at the moment as well on a couple of the uh, all coins that we'll cover in just a moment but for the time being yeah let's just get into it right now bitcoin on the daily time frame we can see that uh, we have a 16 and a minus five right now on the DBSI market cipher A, green dot yesterday and a 16 and a, sorry and a 15 and a minus five yesterday. So right now, you know, cutting back into that red money flow, momentum waves start to come down. VWAP is extending down as well, and we could see that right here. Where are we? There we go. We came back here, retested. 38 100 a couple of times and you know the more we retest support the weaker support gets and we eventually broke it right now we're retesting as resistance trying to come back towards the upside if we can come back towards the upside then that's going to be really good because we're in a couple longs right now most of them in profit i believe 22 percent and the other one just break even at the moment but we'll see how those play out again yesterday making a beautiful 11 percent as we short uh or I guess today making a beautiful 11% as we shorted Ethereum. You know, we did break this major trend line. As you can see, this trend line was holding support for quite a long time. And once we broke it, we retested as resistance and we started to come down exactly to 2724. Or sorry, 2724, if you will. Uh, basically, some previous highs that we've seen right there. And right now we are in some trades so let's just cover those trades right here and we'll take a look at some a couple of other altcoins right now as well but uh yeah for the time being actually before we get into that i want to cover the weekly time frame which we are still in at 24 to minus 5 and the weekly closes in about uh one day or just just shy of that a little bit less than one day and we have printed a new monthly candle now let's delete this right here we'll get rid of this chop and we'll we'll add it back later but right now bitcoin has printed a 15 right and a minus five on the monthly time frame with a red x which is extremely bearish in my opinion uh, which could you know lead to a big market correction but we're gonna have to see excuse me how things play out that's a bullish burp right there but yeah if the markets keep tanking and we keep going towards the downside in the traditional markets as well then I can see Bitcoin going down in the, sh in, the, in, the, in the coming months, in the coming few weeks. Right right here, we can see that before when we got that 50% market correct correction, we had that red X on that monthly time frame. And same thing for here in the previous, right? In the previous history, uh, we can see back in 2014, we had a red X, right? On the monthly time frame. Right, so right now we got our red X. Are we going to get a 50% correction? Right on top of that, we'll go back in the we'll, we'll re add all those lines we deleted on the weekly time frame, like I covered many times before. Right, once we cut into that red money flow on the weekly time frame, it has led to 50% correction in the price of Bitcoin. Right, right here, we cut into that red money flow, and right, sorry, right here in the red money flow in 2014. 50% correction. Now, is Bitcoin going to crash right away? Maybe we get a pump towards the upside, stop out all the shorts, and then we start to move on towards the downside. Now, we're just trying to catch a few bounces right now on some technical levels that we'll cover right here. Right now, AVAX getting a beautiful bounce from these levels right here. We'll just zoom out a little bit. As you can see, coming down, retesting this as support right here but with support previously very strong support now we're getting a little bit of a bounce right now starting to come towards the upside if we can get maybe back up to 60 60 dollars 65 dollars or even 70 dollars we'll start to shave off some profits there but for the time being we are in another trade right here on matic getting a nice bounce as well uh starting to come up towards the upside if if uh sorry if uh, matic can start to come back up to maybe a dollar 30 or just under that dollar 25 we'll start to take some profits on our trade again if you guys are in the discord you guys can get these free not free but you guys get these 
premium alerts right out right away when I make my trades. So congratulations to everyone in Discord. You guys seem to be pretty happy le leaving those thumbs up on those trade signals. So stay tuned for more update, guys. But yeah, overall, Bitcoin breaking this bear this macro bear flag that we've been in for many months. And the longer, like I said before, the longer we stay in these patterns, the, the more violent the move is. So we can even take a look at right here. All right, we'll just draw a beautiful channel. Let's just take a look right there. There we go. All right, so let's just draw this channel. I guess you could draw like this if, if you want. But yeah, you can see that right here we had a, a another another parallel channel, but this one was sloping towards the downside. Now, the, usually the, the, the probabilities are higher that it breaks towards the upsides when you make lower lows and lower highs. And it look at exactly the, that happened. You know, we just, we broke up to the outside beautifully and we made a new all time high at 69,500. Now, right now we are making higher highs and higher lows, which is a bear flag pattern. And the probabilities are that we break towards the downside, but it doesn't mean we get a nice little bounce, maybe a pump back up towards the upside before rolling over and then starting to come back down. But you know, we're not going to speculate on that happening. We're just going to have to see what happens. Next week, we have some big meetings. We have the FOMC meeting on May 3rd and May 4th, and they're going to be talking about the interest rate policies, which are going to be very market. You know, those are going to, those are going to move the markets, in my opinion. So pay attention for that. And if that, you know, if they if they keep on tightening, and you know they keep they're they're going to double down on their interest rate hikes, then you're going to see the traditional markets like the Nasdaq. The S&P 500 and Dow Jones, they're going to keep tanking towards the downside, which is going to lead to Bitcoin keep go keep uh, to keep going towards the downside. So pay attention for that, guys. But overall, doing very good on our trades. If you guys want to check out the profit loss history, links in the description. It's on my website. And if you guys want to join, you're more than welcome. Anyways, thanks for listening, guys. Just giving you guys a quick update. Uh, sorry I didn't enter my trades, my trades quicker because I was eating dinner, having a nice, delicious steak. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, overall, love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. We're at 9,495 subscribers. Once we get to that 10K, 10,000 10, subscribers, we're going to have a $1,000 giveaway. So if you guys want to support the channel, leave a like and subscribe. Love you guys. Peace. If you guys haven't already, you guys can sign up for Big Trading. Links in the description.